Hello everybody, this is Fabi from The Next Big Rush and stick around to the end of this video and I will tell you uh, how to get a small glimpse of what a 12.5 kilogram gold bar looks like. Okay, so um, I was going through my drawers and uh, at the very bottom I found something that I completely forgot that I owned and I want to show this to you guys just in case you have uh, something thrown around in the house uh, without really uh, taking account of it. So I have here what most of you will recognize as a, an incomplete uh, tub of silver coins. Now what I have here is the gorgeous maple leaf, okay? That is the silver maple leaf, the, the $5 one, and this, uh, this was all made in 2011. Okay, so how many do I have in here? I don't even know. See, this is uh, this is why it's so important to, to make sure that you uh, keep very close account of the stuff that you own because you're sitting on money, you know? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18 of these coins. Not bad, not bad. Um, so I'm living in Canada at the moment. However, uh, all things being well, and unless I have uh, a, a big reason to, to sell this all very fast, um, I plan on selling these when I'm out in the UK. Why? Um, it so happens that at least the last time I checked, they were worth a little bit more in the UK because in the UK you have to pay uh, taxes on them. Uh, if you buy it from, you know, a properly registered seller, like a store, not, you know, person to person, then, then you don't have to charge anything. So you have that 20% premium, which you can get out there. Uh, great. Also, the, my, the reason why I didn't notice that these were here is that most of my holdings in silver are actually in the UK, in Britannia's, so... You, these were just sitting around here. What I also found is uh, a gift that I got from my then boyfriend, now husband, a uh, 2002 Eagle, a $1 American silver eagle. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? So I don't go out of my way to uh, buy these, you know, uh, with my uh, Canadian and British sort of uh, roots. I really don't have a need for these, but these are good and very pretty as well. Uh, and then we have this super cool fancy pants one, which uh, Royal Canadian Mint. I'll talk more about that in a while. I can't even open this. It's so fancy. Look at that. It comes with a little certificate of something. This is a 2005 Fine Silver National Parks collection. Um, I don't even know if this has a proper name. I mean, I'm sure it does. Look at this beauty. Isn't it gorgeous? Ooh, good thing it doesn't break. <laughs> uh, let's see if there's a name to this one. Birds. No, this is the French version. Rainforest of the North. So this is a certificate of authenticity. Great stuff, and obviously this is worth a lot more than just those normal run-of-the-mill um, maple leaves right here. Okay, so, uh, you know, just make sure that you're checking your drawers and your garages and everything like that, uh, because you might have literally treasure hidden in, in different parts of it. If you were like me buying in the 2010s, 11s, etc., you might be sitting under or sitting over on top of some treasure. Uh, as you probably know, I am currently living in Winnipeg and I live about 20 minutes away from the Royal Canadian Mint. And uh, I would love to go out there and do a little bit of a tour and show you the really, really nice one kilogram silver coins, uh, the really detailed ones, special edition ones, and also the really huge gold bar that they have out there. It's about, it's worth about, uh, I think three quarters of a million dollars. Um, and it's all, you know, 20 minutes away from here. I would love it 
if I could go in with a camera and uh, do a little bit of shooting for you guys, not the inside of the mint, so to speak, because they're mostly minting normal coins. Um, at least when I was there, they, they were never minting, you know, real money. And so uh, I'd like to, to go out to the the shop area and just show you, you know, the really, I even salivate when I uh, when I think about the, those really nice, you know, gold bars and, and big coins and things like that. But in order for me to do that, I got to get at least 20 likes on this video until the end of this week. So if you'd like to, uh, to see what it's like to, to be holding a huge, massive gold bar and some other delicious silver and gold coins, then hit like and also subscribe. At the end of this week, I'm going to come back to this video, tally it up and see if I don't have at least 20 likes, then I'm sorry, I'm going to go out there, record the video and just show it to my family. That's it. I'm cruel like that. All right. Take care. See you on the next video.